What do you think is at the center of a tardigrades on Wii? I eat and eat and poop, and I, I make up the universe, but am I really me? <laughs> Can that be all there is? Hello, hello, how are we doing, friends? All right, so today we're doing animals with emotions. So we're gonna need two things to do that. We're gonna need animals and we're gonna need emotions. So, all right, let's start with animals. If you've got an animal, let me know what that animal is and we will get it up onto the screen here. I wrote happy and sad just so that we had examples of emotions so I could remember which wheel was which. But um, we're gonna take those off, I think. And ennui, oh great. <laughs> One of those emotional states that's so easy to evoke in the face. <laughs> so let's get our animal up here. Let's see what we got here. We have... Tardigrade is gonna be our first one. We're gonna have to look up what a tardigrade actually looks like. Water bears forever. That's sort of what they look like, you're right. Water bear is a great word for that. All right, let's get our emotion here. And see what we get. It's gonna be a, uh, what kind of tardigrade? Oh, <laughs> on we <Wii> tardigrade. <laughs> Well, you know, we didn't sign up for this to be an easy uh, online experience. If we wanted to have an easy experience, we wouldn't stream random things on the internet, right? Actually, you know what? You're right. Immortal creatures uh, would probably sense a lot of ennui. All right. So what I want to do here is I want to like, so we're going to get a head, right? And actually, we're going to make that head a little bit fatter. All right. And then I want to like, fold its body chunky arm up here with his like tardigrade hand and so then it's gonna have like it's like fold oh we need to be sadder so it's folding to go like this and we'll emphasize some of the chunkiness of its head Trying to make it cuter. Give it like a cheeks. Legs kicking out. Where do we start this shape? First, we need to squish the hole. Some uh, family friendly content. Squishing the hole. Which is then gonna go into a fold here. Just gonna do that and then we're going to, I think, just create like a literal shadow underneath it and just sort of fill that in. Nothing says super fun good times like drawing on Wii. <laughs> Am I right? So let's just do that quickly. Then I'll feel better, then we'll feel better. Uh, the tardigrade won't feel better because it's feeling on Wii, but you know, can't win them all, right? Yeah, we're getting somewhere. What do you think is at the center of a tardigrades on Wii? I eat and eat and poop, and I, I make up the universe, but am I really me? <laughs> Can that be all there is? We will, by the way, come back and give all these circle claws. Hmm. It's all right, we may have to refine it a little bit. I'll just give this a little bit more identifiable depth and shadow it is beautiful that's what random chance drawing does for you forces you to try things that you would never dare try on your own and honestly I'm sure it's improving my art a little bit even in ways I don't fully understand all right our tardigrades starting to come together we do need to come in here and like Get some of these claws in. There's some shading issues to do with the claws. I'm not sure if I'm going to deal with them right now. Uh, during the uh, break, I realized that to make this like look ever so slightly more like a large creature that's sitting, we needed to incorporate just a tiny bit more. Basically, it needs to have a butt. And then we just sort of abundantly shade that. 
Tardigrade. <laughs> Ennui Tardigrade. All right, let's uh, find ourselves some new emotions and some new things for our wheel. Uh, we're going to get... Oh, surprised. How surprising. A surprise bear. Goodbye, window capture. Hello, Tardigrade. Oh, our poor Tardigrade. He looks so sad. His life is just full, you know? It's got too much going on. And think about how we're gonna do this bear. So we're gonna get him like here to the head, and then I think we're just gonna go for like the classic lazy pat animal pose. Basic animal shapes, but simplified form. Yeah, I mean like, so like 90% of animals, you can make them look way better by just making them sit. Cause they'll put their leg out and then their arms will cover the majority of their torso. So you don't have to worry about that. That's my big secret. We'll just give him um, teddy bear paws for now. And we'll call it bear paws. That hand is massive. <laughs> All right, well, you know. You know how when you get surprised and all the blood rushes to your fingers? <laughs> you might have to furry eyes that a little bit. Not furry eyes in the furry sense. This is one of the ways that I do my, my line art these days where I draw shapes. Oh, uh, I draw shapes and then I fill, make them thicker than they are by drawing the shape again. And it gives a very particular line art style, which I like thick lines, as I'm sure anyone who spent any time looking at any of the work that I've ever done or shared knows. Uh, we'll call that all right. Then we'll just come in and tighten up some of these, re-thicken some of these lines. All right, let's get some more fur here. My first style, really, I need to keep working on it because it's very just sort of flouncy. And I don't think flouncy is even a word. That's how ungood it is. Ungood also probably not a word. So I've been reading uh, more of Brandon Sanderson. Brandon Sanderson? No, what's his name? Terry Pratchett. Got my fantasy novel writers confused. Reading more Terry Pratchett's uh, Discworld series. And just loving it. I just started a couple of days ago. I started Equal Rights, which is both a play on um, like equal rights of gender, but the word rights is spelled R I T E S because in Discworld, uh, only women can be witches and only men can be wizards, and the story centers on a character centers on a character who is a, a girl, like a young girl, like child who uh, gets given a wizard's power on his death, as is always the case. The chaos that ensues is that she tries to find her place in the world. And it's a great play on both gender. I mean, it was written in the 80s, which, which says a lot on both gender stereotypes and norms, as well as just like a really funny trope on um, the concept of witches and wizards. Which, I mean, Terry Pratchett is well known for writing that way. Oh, I also want to remind folks because it is important to me. It is something I'm doing right now and I would be remiss if I forgot to mention it. I have been working on a sticker sheet. Uh, you can see it there in the corner <coughs> and I'm trying to get people to sign up to express interest, mainly so I don't order myself the stickers without having a sense that some people will buy it. And uh, yeah, they're just there's about 17 stickers on a a four by six sheet and if you sign up before I ultimately purchase I'm gonna talk about this for a long time till I get it done um, you actually get five of my other vinyl stickers uh, so like the burger the bugs the things like that and like it's a crazy deal so Canadian it's eight dollars for the sheet and you get five of these uh, when you buy four of these on my website and you choose the four they're twelve dollars if you buy four of these and you don't choose them they're ten dollars so you're gonna be getting like an eight dollar 
set of five stickers plus the sticker sheet. Uh, so like it's a really crazy deal, but if we do it, what ends up happening is I'm able to order them as well as make a little bit extra to afford, like it's enough to afford the ordering and ship the ones that people bought. And so it's a big thing for me. It's something I really am working on getting done. Why don't we get one more animal to draw before we finish up here? Uh, we've been doing it on wheels. Do, 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 owl. All right, let's see what happens. Bum, 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 bum. I feel like a pensive owl is not like the most surprising thing on earth. Owl shape very simply is, it's got one of these and then one of these. Kakuna from Pokemon is basically an owl shape. A drawing interesting animals with emotions so we've got a pensive owl here probably needs a little bit more detail but I don't have the time for that right now so we'll see if it gets more in the render you never know we got our surprise bear who is either surprised or doing Shakespeare I'm not entirely sure we'll have to figure that out uh, and of course we've got our ennui tardigrade just just needs a needs to think about life for a little while friends thank you so much for being here I hope you had a good time. And of course, till next time, keep being awesome, friends. Much love, respect, good things to you and yours. Peace, friends.